in September 2019, Magical Kenya sponsored a Nigerian girl, me, to come explore the beautiful country of Kenya. I was in Kenya for 10 days and I will be giving you a guide on how I spent my 10 days in Kenya to help you plan towards your next trip if you plan to go to Kenya. Now disclaimer, in case you missed the title and the first sentence of this video, this will be more suitable to Nigerians. You would understand why soon. If you are a Kenyan or of any other nationality, please stick around. You might discover new places you haven't explored in Kenya. My 10 days in Kenya was nothing short of magical. It was amazing and I'm honestly looking forward to visiting the country again. The country is rich in culture, food, animals, amazing destinations and more. And I could not possibly have covered it all in my 10 part Kenyan series I just concluded on YouTube. Make sure you go check them out if you haven't. Before we continue, please smash the like button, share this video and subscribe if you haven't. Now, kill the intro. Hi all liars, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Pisayo and I'm a tourism development advocate. I tell stories from within the sessions I visit, inviting you to my world of travel and giving you insight on what needs to be improved in some African destinations so that Africa can position itself to be the number one tourist destination in the world. Enjoy this video. Kenya is located in the eastern part of Africa. For context, Kenya is about 5,500 kilometers away from Lagos, Nigeria, my country. So the first thing to note for transportation is that flight is the most suitable. There are a lot of things to consider when booking a flight. It could be the cost or the number of stopovers. Luckily, Kenya has its own national carrier, so I didn't have to worry about the stopover. I took a direct flight from Lagos International Airport to Kenyatta International Airport. Upon my arrival in Kenya, I paid $50 for visa on arrival. This was the quickest visa I'd ever gotten. Countries within East Africa are not required to pay visa to visit Kenya. In Kenya, there are a few things you should try when you visit. We visited beautiful beaches in Diani. We went on a game drive in Demara. We watched a lion hunt and we did so many amazing things. Now let me start with the first day itinerary. Day one. I got to Nairobi at night. So the first day what I did was have a dinner with the magical Kenya team and we added to Radisson Blue our hotel for the night. The security at the hotel was on another level. Then again, it was a common thing I noticed amongst most places in Kenya. Upon getting to the hotel, I prepared for the next day and then went to bed. Day 2 Our plan for day 2 was to leave Nairobi to Yukunda. If you do not know where Yukunda is, it is a coastal town in the southern part of Mombasa. It paves way into Diani Beach which is the major tourist attraction in Yukunda. There are several ways to travel to Yukunda. You can go by train, car, bus, or a plane. We went by a plane. Now, upon arrival, we went straight to our hotel, Bahari Do, where we spent one night and had a lunch and dinner. My highlight at this hotel was the food, the infinity pool, and the proximity to the beach. Day three, we took a tour around the Yani Beach and headed to the Colobus Conservation Center where we were educated on how to treat a monkey and other interesting facts about colobos, baboons, gorillas, and monkeys. After this, we went to Nomad's Beach Bar and Restaurant, which was not far from the conservation center itself. Now, you can decide to move around Diani on a bike, otherwise known as a Boda Boda in Kenya, or a tricycle, otherwise known as a tuk-tuk in Kenya. This beach resort has so many highlights for me. Being there was blissful. The food was great. I engaged myself in some interesting activities. We went around the resort to inspect some rooms also. It is a place I would love to experience again. When you think of summer, Nomad's Beach Bar and Restaurant definitely comes to mind. Did I mention the beach is super clean with clear sand? Yeah, it is. Now our last stop for the day was Swahili Beach Resort where we spent the night. Day 4. We spent two nights at Swahili Beach Resort, and as I said in my previous video, my brothers and sisters, it's beautiful. I feel like I'm in Greece at the moment. I don't know why it's giving me Greece vibes. I've not been to Greece, but when I see pictures and videos, I know what it looks like. So this this room in particular is giving me beach um, Greece vibes. It's the perfect destinations for weddings, honeymoons, girls' weekends off, and more. It is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot stop thinking of this destination. My heart longs to go back there. The infinity pool was mind-blowing. The massage I received was blissful. The rooms are beautiful. The dinner was entertaining. Tell me, what else could you ask for? Just tell me. 
after the second night, we checked out of the hotel. Day five. We headed back to Nairobi by plane from Yukunda. So we're going back to Nairobi, Kenya now. That's going to be like around one hour. A one hour flight. After which we chartered a flight from Nairobi to Mara. Our first day in Masai Mara Game Reserve, we went for a game drive and we were so lucky to witness lion hunting. Wow, they really called all the hyenas. So guys, backstory. These hyenas are the back. We're two, now they are four. Now I because more more oh, coming. Yeah, more, more. So they called two more, coming. more of their guys to assist them so they can come and attack these guys over here. Or join them in their food. So now they are plenty. One, two, three, four, five. So fun fact about Masai Mara, the game reserve was part of the inspiration behind Lion King. Being there was amazing. One thing I should point out is that it was about 18 degrees centigrade cold in Masai Mara and Nairobi. So if you plan to explore any of these destinations around the same time I was there, which is September, October, get the adequate clothing for your skin. Our time at the Mara was spent in the amazing Serena Hotel. For more on this hotel, go check my previous videos. Now day six, we spent our mornings on another game drive. The best time to spot a lion or leopard is in the mornings or evenings. After our morning game drive, we went to one of the Masai Mara's villages to experience their culture. One thing I found fascinating was the fact that the Maasai women are made to build their nuclear family houses when they're about to get married without the assistance of men. These women are strong. When at the camp, you'll be taught how to produce fire with sticks alone, how they dance and more. And if you're interested, you can purchase a souvenir to support the growth of the community. Day 7. This was a magical day in Dumara for me. We had an early game drive and spotted some cheetahs, which was amazing. Usually the hotel you lodge with is in charge of your game drives, so it is best you choose a good one. After the game drive, we had a beautiful breakfast in the bush with hippos. <laughs> yes, we did that. After this, we chartered a flight from Mara to Nairobi. Now, are you counting how many flights we've chartered so far? <laughs> day 8. We went to the Magical Kenya Travel Expo event throughout the day. Well, uh, Kenya is magical, you have seen. Is, is, is when you want to see Africa, you come to Kenya, you see everything in Africa. And it's authentic. Yes, that is me, Dipisayo, having an interview with the Cabinet Secretary of Tourism and Wildlife, otherwise known as the Minister of Tourism in Kenya. The girl has blown. And then we explored the Giraffe Center and the United Nations headquarters the following day. This was all done in Nairobi, and you can decide to do the same if you're in Nairobi. Day 9, I experienced a bit of Nairobi's nightlife after the event I attended was over. And yeah, it was okay. I don't know if I can compare it to Lagos, Lagos nightlife, but it was good, you know. <laughs> Day 10, I took a direct flight from Nairobi to Lagos, Nigeria, and there ends my journey or stay in Kenya. Now, let me address a few questions about Africa. Number 1. Is Africa a country? No, it is not. Number two, is Kenya a country in Africa? Yes, Kenya is a country in Africa. Number three, is Kenya safe? Yes, the tourism board and the government authorities take pride in their safety measures. During my stay, I even got tired of all the security measures being taken, especially in Nairobi. Number four, is Kenya expensive? No, although my travel in Kenya was fully sponsored by the tourism board. You can travel within Nairobi on a low budget. However, if you want to follow all I mentioned in this video, then prepare your bank account for some luxurious spending. I have written tons of detailed articles on my travel in Kenya on Defisayo.com that should help you with the cost and more. Click the link in the description below to check them out. Also, if you would like to book any of the destinations I mentioned in this video, click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, smash it. 
and share this video and subscribe. Till next week, do not forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace! See you next week. <laughs>